What's happening everybody? This is the Traveling Salvation Show, your go-to channel for RV renovation, full-time eBay reselling, and full-time RV living. Here, we can show you how to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't like to do that, you don't want nothing to do with RVs, you may have watched Steve Martin's The Jerk recently. Just got done watching that, and you think the OptiGrab is an awesome idea, and you want to roll forward with that. Well, if you have not learned anything from the life and times of Navin Johnson, we can't teach you anything. The one thing we can teach you though, is how to buy and sell stuff on eBay, renovate an RV, and go across the country paying for it that way. But what we want to show you right now is this crazy skate spot, what we found at the Goodwill. We're gonna come back after they close, maybe, because there's somebody watching this and they might report us and come back and skate this. This is the <laughs> most crazy thing I've ever seen in the world. In the wild, natural, spot look at this like that. insane That's a nice spot. let's go inside and see what we can find What'd you get? I got this drink tower thing. It holds your refills for your drink machine for three dollars, and it'll go for like thirty-five. There was actually another reseller in there, and he was picking stuff and didn't even see this. So this goes to show you that even though there are resellers there, just always stuff that they left behind. They may not be good pickers. They yeah. may they may not be very good at what they do. And in this case, it was half off Blue Day, so I got this for twelve fifty. And it is a Sea Chef barbecue stove. Just go look up what marine barbecue grills go for. This is in the $200, $250 area, maybe more. And the Mizuno hat does sell pretty good. Actually, there were a few, I think three listed and two sold at $20, I forget. Nonetheless, I got it for $2.50. Had to pay full price for that one. So definitely did good on that. And lesson learned, don't be discouraged by other pickers. Oh yeah, look what we got at the checkout line. We got to try those out. Yeah. The Jelly Belly Krispy Kreme Donut Jelly Bean. Let's try out the Salvation Army. Maybe we'll do a little bit better here. The Goodwills haven't been doing so good. But we'll go bounce back and forth. Goodwill, Independent Thrift Stores, Salvation Army. We're gonna hop the train, go try to hop the train after this and get up to a Goodwill. <laughs> Maybe 40 bucks on those. What'd you get? I got these Katie, Nike Katie's for $10. And Kevin go for, Durant's. I didn't know that's what that was, but they'll go for like $60. And then I got these Lucky Brand flats, paid seven. They'll go for 25. And these kids Nikes, paid $4 for them. Could get like 24. Those are clean too. They're Good like shape. brand new. do nothing to those. Yeah. This is some type of security camera DVR. I don't know exactly what kind it is. I looked up the model number, and every time I looked up the model number, whether I Googled it or put it on eBay, it was like $4,000, $1,000, $400, different brands. So $10, I think that I'm going to make some money on that thing. It's brand new for the most part, and... I think it's worth hundreds at least, but usually when that happens, I look up something and it's like $2,000 end up being worth 200, but yeah. so we'll see. We are at the Burger King 
Look, if you lived in that house right there, you'd be just like Back to the Future. All right, let's see what we got here. This look like a good one. Not too bad. Got the National Geographic there. Be on the lookout for National Geographic stuff. Sealed. We sold a whole. We sold a whole set of maps for like a hundred dollars from the National Geographic uh, park trail maps. I think it might have been for the Appalachian Trail or something like that. Mm -hmm. This is a worldwide sportsman belt. I didn't know anything about them. Just kind of caught my eye. They got good sales right on them. Paid $2.99 for that. Probably get about $20, $20, bucks, $20 $25 maybe on that. These Merrill shoes, I'm hesitant to buy women's athletic shoes, but hiking shoes seem to do a little bit better. So probably going to do better on those than I would just regular old athletic shoes. Yeah, probably for sure. $40. Is that what they look? $50? $50? Yeah. yeah. I'll do okay on them then. Let's try this one. They all starting to look the same to me. much in there but it was pretty cool this thing i'm not sure on this if i can get it out here this sundial cast iron sundial no it can't be too old because it's got phillips screws in it instead of flathead screws however saw those all the way from 30 dollars to like two and three hundred dollars i think this is probably about a 50 to 70 ish dollar one right there look pretty cool these as you saw in there are homestead that what it says homestead knives i'm not sure i think a whole set of those will go for about 70 80 bucks because we saw just a fillet knife listed for 25 no, miscellaneous knives listed for all over the place and then maybe four or five of these for 29 but did not see an entire set but i think from what i saw an entire set would probably be about 70 bucks mm -hmm. pretty cool though not too bad all right so rebecca wanted to try these crispy cream jelly belly donut jelly beans real quick so we have halted the yeah. process for the day for right now let's which one they're a mix of sort let's go through the, the assortment really quick okay they got cinnamon apple filled strawberry iced glazed blueberry cake chocolate iced with sprinkles and original glazed interesting yep not really that interesting but crazy yeah not that crazy but cool yeah not that cool <laughs> but strange weird it's very weird it's not that weird okay let's see they all look the same i guess you just gotta wonder and guess I think that's the glazed one. I don't know. Is it good? No. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, my. Ugh. Let's go. That tastes uh -uh. nothing like donuts, does it? No. Uh -uh. How are you still eating it? Ugh. It tastes like a rotten Christmas. Ugh. That one? So it's either cheap Christmas toys or soap is what it tastes like. Yeah, it's not good at all. I think this is the chocolate one. All right, so I'm at the Goodwill today. Today is a new day for me. It is tomorrow for me. It is yesterday for y'all, yesterday-ish. But I'm at another Goodwill. We're going to hit 345 today, see what we can pick up. not much 
but good profit a dollar 99 i can sell that for about 25 bucks sales rates are really good on heated ice cream spoons i don't know why the king of inventions myself has not come up with an idea like that because that is brilliant this little camera is a minolta camera i'm gonna leave it in there you guys saw it 2.99 the sales rates are really high on those as well. I don't know why people still buy 30 millimeter cameras. It's kind of crazy to me that people do. However they do, we get a lot of people overseas buying 35 millimeter cameras. So we're gonna keep buying them, keep selling them. Okay, another day, another Goodwill. Let's see what we can find. This is nice. Vintage metal craftsman toolbox sell really, really well for a lot of money. I'm not sure what this one will go for, but it'll go for a lot more than $6.99. Look at that. That was nice. Didn't make it up anymore. So conservatively, $130-ish for the Craftsman Toolbox and conservatively, $130 for both of the chairs. Well, $100 for both of the chairs, conservatively. That'd be the lowest price. They both work decent in shape. And things are hard to find and they sell really good. Both of them really high, really high sales rate items. Let's go get something to eat. I think this will be the last one I hit today. The rest of what I do is on the way home. Maybe I'll stop at some stuff, maybe not. for me all right so i left a t-shirt even though it was a pretty good t-shirt maybe 25 ish dollars i would have made off of that the line was so long that it, it wasn't worth my time waiting so we just fit to head on back and maybe stop at some of the places that are on along the way maybe not maybe just go straight back to the motor home and drink some coffee and then start to listen to some stuff all right so here's the xbox that i got last week and I got my cord in, it was $5 or $4.99, free shipping. So that's $11, $6, and $2. That's what I've got in there. You add that up, 11, 14, 20. So $20 plus tax, $6-ish. So $26, $27 is what I paid for this thing. Let's see if it works. It already had a game in it too. It had a, I forget what button, but football or baseball? Nonetheless, let's see if it works. So, this like so. So I hear the game in there, let's over. Bam! Yes! Works! Let's hook the controller up. Let's see what's going on with that. Nice! Look at that! Awesome! So it does work. I had a good feeling about this thing. It was $10.99. I could have made, still made maybe 20 bucks off that if it didn't work. But again, it was so clean. I got the cord, plugged it in, soldered it, powered on, and opened up and all that good stuff. Had the remote. That's probably going to sell for maybe $130-ish. And so we'll make 100 bucks off that, 90 bucks, something like that. Sweet. Interesting. Yep. Not really that interesting, but crazy. Yeah. Not that crazy, but cool. Yeah. Not that cool, but strange. Weird. It's very weird. It's not that weird.